I want to say this all came about because one of my one of my lady friends was telling me that she was dating this guy. And you know how y'all always say, um, why can't guys just be up front and say what they want? So this particular guy was up front and he said, can you suck my dick? <laughs> and she said, that's kind of rude. So do y'all want niggas to say what they want up front or no? <laughs> like, well, I feel like saying what they want is something I feel like when pe- women say that is because they want them to say something that is within the confines of a natural, respectful Why is that not in the confines? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. (laughs) That's typically what women want. Something that's within the natural confines and respectful. Why is that not in the natural confines? Oh, well, because, you know, anything sex is taboo. If you say suck my dick, then it's a problem. All right, I I will stand with you on that ish because I will be transparent for y'all and tell y'all that one time this girl told me that she would love for me to eat her pussy, and I felt offended. <laughs> I, I really did feel offended that that's what she looked at me as. Like <laughs> she was like, I always thought about you eating my pussy. Like this is just what she said to me, right? This is, we are having a general conversation, and that was her like direct statement right. and i did feel offended because i'm not gonna eat your pussy shorty if i'm not smashing what the fuck are we doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know you know sometimes the straightforward you know can be just a little bit too brash for people and you know they can't really take it in or either they're caught off guard maybe you were just caught off guard by her response like I, I, oh I shit would, like yeah, like if it was somebody who pussy you wanted to eat, maybe if she had said, "Oh, I just imagine you eating my pussy," I probably would have. I you probably would have. I probably she was somebody that I probably would have ate her pussy, but it was the way that she said it to me. Like, like that's all she wanted me for, and that was the part that kind of derailed. So, do y'all feel like that the approach is is really important? Like. If if she had approached you a different way and she didn't just come out and say it, but y'all had like conversations that maybe possibly led up to that statement, would it have if, been any different? Look, look if she would have just moved accordingly and like took her pants off or something, I probably would have just did it. <laughs> oh, it so just- she would have slid her pants off and put her right. pussy in front of you and right. said, "Oh." I could just no, imagine you don't have to say anything. Pussy. You ain't you oh, have to say just nothing. put it there. Just let it naturally happen. It was the fact that she said it to me like that's all she wanted for me, and like that's all I was good for to her. That was the problem. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Because I don't gotcha. know if it would have been in the opposite way. Yeah, I don't. KD, do you think if somebody would have pulled down their pants and just whipped out their dick that you'd have been fine with that? Oh, I would have been hollering yourself. That. Oh, hell no. That's happened to me before. What if, what if it's somebody, hold on, KD, what if it's somebody that you like? No, that would totally turn me off. That's do true. not pull your pants if down. You, if you take your pants off, do. that's not going to turn me off. Like That is not a turn off for me. To, it's yeah, happened please, before take your pants to me, off. Please, and take your I pants walked off. out and left. Yeah, please take your pants off. But uh, let's get back on the topic, man. Where are y'all favorite dating spots? And I, and I want to <laughs> harp on this because I've seen people saying, Yo, I went to the gun range and it was amazing. And I was like, I've been shot before and shot guns before. And that's not a date for me. I'm good. <laughs> right. <clears throat> you know, um, mm-hmm. Ebony and I was just having this conversation today about me getting out, going to places I enjoy. Because I never go anywhere. Now I was like, why do I attract certain type of guys? And then I said, oh my God, Ebony. I attract them because that's what I am, a hermit. Right. Right. So upon discussing about me getting out, I would think like a comedy show, because I love comedy clubs, a comedy show or going out to like a Starbucks or something like that and just chilling, right. something like that, but more or less a comedy show. Like All a right, comedy put your favorite dates and date ideas in the chat. Now, what's your answer? What would be your favorite thing to do on a date mm, weirdo i like to shop that's my favorite shit like i i like being creative are I like you taking a chick shopping on your first yo can y'all um 
put mm. y'all information in the chat because Nell is taking everybody shopping on the first date. <laughs> That's for one, like you can get except a, for KD here. He skated on me. I, I want to go shopping. Hey, hey, cut it. <laughs> go ahead, we talk about this snitching thing, didn't we? Yes. Go no, ahead, I, mean, I, 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 you know, I, I like, I like getting out and doing certain things, shopping kind of allows me to ask you your opinion about something. We have a conversation. We walk and talk and we go on in different things. I see what you like. You see what I like. And it kind of, and it, and it spurns ideas of, I just want to pick you something up that, like, I seen you like. I seen you staring at something. I seen you looking at it. I seen you admiring it. Or I seen us, you get it. And I can say, yo, that's the type of shit she like. Or she see the type of shit I like. Or, hey, babe, what you think about this? And it's just walking and talking. And then it could lead to, after shopping sitting down to a nice little dinner or whatever the case may be us riding back home to you know to whatever the case may be so it just it opens up a number of possibilities because it forces you to talk and walk at the same time all and right each what's your answer all right so my first pick for um my favorite dating spot would be a nice intimate restaurant because i feel like you can experience like a lot of different things being tantalized during a great dinner and a quiet atmosphere and an intimacy between two people talking, getting to know each other, you know, um, tapping into their taste buds, you know what I mean? Eating food, aphrodisiacs, things like that, enjoying a glass of wine or some cocktails, etc. But my runner up would be me cooking a nice dinner at home, chilling, um, great conversation, some candles, and um, you know, a nice meal. So, okay. I'm I'm either one or the other. Just that intimacy and food. That's my 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 pick. I always love food. Um, yeah, <laughs> always. What would be a date? Yeah. What would be a date that y'all never did that y'all want to try? And y'all can uh, answer in the chat as well. A date that you never did that you want to try. I want to try the hot air balloon. Okay. I want to take a day. I want to. I want to. I want to. And I want to do something risky mm -hmm. and something that takes both of us out of our comfort zone and um, and makes us have those conversations that it, it forces you to become very vulnerable, but also enjoy the moment, right? Because mm -hmm. you can't control that. You can't control what's going on when you're in that hot air balloon, but okay. you can take in the beautiful scenery. And it allows you to enjoy that with each other. That's something that would be something that would be on top of my list right there. All right, Katie, what's your answer? Oh my God, you would come to me next. Hell, you know I don't date. The fuck. I said something that you would want to do. I didn't say that's what that you the hell do I want to do though? What the hell do you want to do, lady? <laughs> um you know what? Um, this is the shit I'm talking about. Let's stay right here. Y'all always talking about how y'all want to be wanted down. Y'all want to be courted. And then when somebody asks you what you want to do, you have no fucking answers. This is the shit that hurts my brain. No, no. You're not giving me a chance to answer. Go ahead. What I want to do is to be flown out yeah. of the country I, that, that's to an island. Too. Like, Just the two the of us, <laughs> and I on that island, waiting for me that. is all of my favorite little things, including a garden tub, a hot tub, all of my bath and essential oils, because they're gonna know that that's important for me. But to be flown, just fly me away with you. Just say fly me out, Katie. That's all you had to do. Fly me out with you. On a long ass fucking story. Just to say fly me out. <laughs> Boy, what's your answer? What's your answer? Eve? My answer, banana boat <clears throat> in the middle of the ocean, couple bottles of wine. You trying to conversation. fuck? Yep, conversation and some extras so you right in the middle of the ocean. Banana boat? No, the no. Ain't no drowning going on. We both avid swimmers. How about that? I'm not we avid. Both you dating Michael Phelps? That's what I'm about to say, because I'm not an Because this woman. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 No, but see. No, that's just fly. That's fly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My answer My answer is always to um do the ghost shit. So I want to do the uh the clay making, y'all. 
I Say can't what look at KD is lost, y'all. K- KD. The ceramics. In the this ceramics. movie called Quite Ghost, it. right? They were making a ceramic like <laughs> uh, m- mug or bowl or some shit. Pottery. Like, you yeah. know, okay. ceramics or pottery. Clay mold. Um, Older than yeah. clay. So, clay so, so you mold the parts of your partner? No, okay, mm-hmm. You're making something. Y'all just like go. You, you make a pot. You make oh, a just pottery. Make a cat. Katie, do me a favor. Go and watch the movie Ghost, and then you will understand. It's a, it's a like a closest thing. It's an intimate. Oh, no, Katie thing. saw Ghost before. But this was yo, saw Ghost. Before. Ghost talking about with Patrick Swayze. Right. Yes. Yeah, I've seen Ghost. So did yeah. you to know what it is then? <laughs> I'm talking about it's an intimate. I just couldn't yeah. picture you doing that, T. I'm very what, romantic. I'm gonna need this. I'm what, back <laughs> this is what I would say about every date that anybody said, right? Nothing should be that ever discounted from what a person says. Because what it, a date is supposed to do is supposed to bring you two together. It's not, it's supposed to take you out of your comfort zone and make it about you too. So if if a date ain't something that always might be on the top of your list, but is on the top of the other person's list, you might enjoy it. Right. It, it's not if, if you're doing something with a significant other or somebody that you're interested in dating. Try it. It might it might work. Even if you don't like something, even if it's something that you don't that you might not have liked before, maybe this instant right here could be the time when it went well. Because you're doing it with the person that you date and that you out with, and it lends itself to a good time. It's you know, it is what it is. Hold on, hold on now, because I um this is a very sensitive subject for me. So ladies. I need y'all to know that when a guy is whining and dining you, he is at some point expecting sex. And if you don't acknowledge that, (laughs) that is a faux pas. All right. So let me ask you this. Stay right there. Is he expecting sex at that point in time or is he expecting sex eventually? No, you're expecting sex at some point. It don't have to be the first time we go out on a date. KD, what the fuck are you doing over there? <laughs> Your screen is black. What are you doing over there? <laughs> KD, <laughs> what are you doing? Stop playing on your phone. I'm not. <laughs> What's happening? Somebody help KD out. Um, Ish, what I'm, what I'm saying. KD, you got an echo going on. I don't know what's going on. Look. What I was saying, Ish, is that um, even if, like, so like, say this is your dude, right? If this is your dude, shouldn't he expect some pussy? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, absolutely. I feel like even as women, sometimes we expect that sexual connection, right? Hmm. But that's why I was asking, is it, like, are you expecting it? At the point in time during our dates, or is it something that you're expecting in the future? Because it's obvious if you're expecting it in the future. No, no. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if you're my girl and we're together, right? But I, but we, we just, you know, we're, we having our date night shit. Like this is, you know, oh, yeah. we fucking. That's what it, I'm it, saying. I mean, <laughs> when you said you're my girl. Right. When you said you're my girl, like I'm thinking, you know, if we're just dating, like a first date or a second date or whatever the case is. This is is what I'm trying to get across. So there is women that think that when you go on these dates, the man should not think that he should be getting some pussy at the end of this. Grow up. Thank you. (laughs) Grow up. There's going to be some fucking going on. And also, what what would y'all say? What would y'all say to whose whose responsibility is it when planning these dates? How would you say is a 50-50 thing? Would you say is the man's responsibility to come up with all the ideas for the date? It's is the it- man's responsibility. They don't have any answers, man. No, <laughs> it should not be fully man's responsibility, not whatsoever. And I mean, any woman who is totally into their man is always constantly thinking about shit that she wants to do with him, shit that she wants to experience with right, him. Right, that she right, right. Wow. Ish, you, you know what you're doing wrong, though? You're saying the shit that she wants to do. She, You're not even thinking about what he wants to do. No, no, no. I'm just saying, right, and I absolutely agree. 
But a woman who's paying attention to her significant other and her mate, whether she wants to do it with him or not, she's taking notes about what he likes, what he may need, what he may want, something that may intrigue him um, and spark his attention. So it doesn't necessarily have to be what she wants. It could be her thinking about things that he needs as well. Exactly. Right, you know, I got more questions. Go every ahead. mention about her and her husband last week went to a burlesque dance or to, to a burlesque performance. Right. Jason got the performance of his life. Right. I told Ebony she's a better woman than me after I saw the videos. So boring, she's a better man. woman than me. But he enjoyed it to the fullest. But she planned this for his enjoyment. And right. he enjoyed it to the fullest. Shout out to you, Ebony. Shout out to Ebony. <laughs> Shout out to mm -hmm. Ebony because he I mean, just it to the less dance. Like, you, I'll Ebony still say, Bestie, you're a better I mean? woman than me. KD, that's yeah. not even a lot. You act like he got some titties in his face. Like, oh, you, you don't have to see the video. I know what it is. I know what burlesque is, KD. But, yeah, but, but, but that just goes. Like, he was called up on the stage. They but not, that and that's nice. But you, know but, but you know what that? But you know what that? You know what that shows? That she's comfortable within right. herself. Exactly. Um, she right. knows exactly. who she is to exactly. him. That she ain't got nothing right. to worry about. She ain't got nothing exactly. to worry about. No, so it ain't even no like. It, it, it shouldn't even be looked upon as, oh, this is disrespecting me or I'm she a better woman. It's just the fact that she got confidence in herself. She right. know he going home with her. And it's she, just a show. It's it's she it. have confidence and not, in their relationship, absolutely. in their marriage. And then not she only that, that he loves her. Mm -hmm. exactly. but not right. only that, it sparks some right. interest too. Not right. necessarily in an interest of, okay, Ebony liked the women or he liked another woman. It just spiced that's, that's up. Saying, that's and crazy. not only and that, she liked not only that, her man excited. like Right. And not and only happy. that, but she had the time of her night that life. See? You know? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is why people shouldn't she, limit she benefited themselves from to... Yeah, people shouldn't limit themselves to oh, something that they think is outside of the box. Okay, yes, boss, we got to get back on track. <laughs> yes, listen. <laughs> All right, ladies, I need I need to ask y'all. So, say if a man, if this is y'all first date, tell me something that wouldn't get him a second date. Like if he didn't open the doors for you, if he didn't bring you flowers, <laughs> if he, whatever he did, what would be something? for you not Ooh. to go on a second date with them? And y'all can uh, answer in the chat as well. Man, oh. Ebony, damn, we just talked about this. We just talked about this. I don't hear any answers, though. I don't know. <laughs> what would make me not go on a second date? Being stingy like with your me. wallet. Being stingy with your wallet? How much am I supposed to be paying on the first date? We ain't smashing. Being, being stingy with <laughs> But it's the circumstances. It's the circumstances that it comes under. But being stingy with the wallet. All right, what's your Plank. answer, Aisha? Whack ass conversation. What's being stingy with hold the on, wallet? Hold on, hold on, let let's let's stay there. Let's stay there, Aisha, because I was talking to the stripper friend of mine the other day as well, <laughs> and she has said, "Why, why are you laughing, Katie? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh because I got friends. I got friends. Listen, I was talking to the stripper but friend. The of mine. stripper. What's wrong with that? It's a lot of strippers that's okay, way cooler than y'all. They way cooler than y'all. <laughs> so I was talking to my stripper friend the other day, and she was saying that um, whatever guy that she talks to has to be able to hold a conversation because she can't. And I said, that's not fair to put all that on that man. There's a lot of things that's not fair to just put on a person, right? Being, being like what, what, what people don't understand is that there's two people in there in this situation. Right. So if, 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 if you got somebody who's a leader, you got somebody who is 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 comfortable in, in their role, it's always good to add to add shit to it. Right. Add conversation, add plans, because that person's minds get stale too. And it, 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 they and, and they got a lot going on. And they just want you to offer up a suggestion which will help open the box up to even more possibilities. That's all it could be. I just I, we need to get out of this. Right, and I don't want to be the Body only that. one speaking. I don't want to be the only right. one speaking. Right, that's that's my that's my thing right there. I don't want to be the only one speaking. Or only I one. want somebody to be able to throw like, it back. We got. It, do it matter who who speaks first? Just say something, and it right. can lead right. to a conversation that could last all night long. 
right? Different layers. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Do you have to give out compliments on the first date? <laughs> that part, Lady B. What the fuck, Katie? That part. Katie, Lady I don't B. have to give you a compliment. That part, Lady B. What if what I if you didn't you. what if you didn't look nice? Like what if you looked regular? Like it wasn't nothing. Well, you about? know, we figure if if we were not worthy of a compliment, then you don't appreciate us. No, KD. We're not for hold you. Hold on, hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now, KD. I could like you like on your regular everyday basis. This particular night, you might have on something that I don't agree with. Well, you know what? You have to roll with it and say that. I don't got to roll with shit. About it. I don't got to roll with shit. If you have on yeah, something that well, I I'm don't eight, agree with. Don't. But you don't get a second date. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I mean, we, we fair ahead with. But you know what, you though? But this the thing. This is what I asked. You. This is what I asked, though, today. How has it worked out for you? Right. If you if you're employing those tactics that somebody got to do this and do that, in order for them to, are you giving him a compliment? Worked out for you. Are you single now? After the guys that took you out and, and gave you compliments, are you still in a single place? So it's time to change our mindsets and stop okay. and stop being so caught up on words, right? The person with you because he's seen something in oh, you that yeah, he's like to want to go out. He don't got to compliment you. <laughs> like every so every compliment has validity to it. So if a person keeps saying, damn, baby, you beautiful. And then at the end yeah, of the night, he's just trying to get said all that damn, to get it. Com compliment me at least once. All right. So, if, 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 so let's say he's so let's say he's been compliment you all night. Damn, baby, you you so beautiful. You smell so no. good. Only to you get in your panties and skate that. off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you look no. nice. No, what if there's nothing you to compliment it, it that day? You all that, but give me one little compliment. That day, but, but there may, there women may be like reason. compliments. So do men, KD. I love compliments as and well. I the fuck? <laughs> what I I'm saying compliment. is, KD, what I'm saying is, what if that day there's nothing for me to compliment you on? I don't like your fucking <laughs> outfit today. I don't like that you got your hair to the side today. I don't fucking like this shit. So why That's do so I don't have to, that? Don't mean that I don't like you. That just means well, today if, I'm not feeling your look today. If you like me, you can find something to compliment. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yes, that, the hell no, it, it is. I, so, seen, I don't care. Hold on, hold on, hold on, 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 You want frivolous? You want frivolous? You want frivolous? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, KD. I've seen the prettiest of female do too much sometimes. So she put on too much fucking makeup. She got on a bad fucking outfit. Well, it tell was just, her, baby. It was just a no. You are pretty without all of the makeup. Right. That's not a compliment well, give for her. Something. Give her something. Give her something. You know a black woman is going to get mad at you that night if you tell her that she didn't need that fucking makeup on, right? You know that, right? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. That's, That's not going to go over well. Ladies, but we give ourselves we can give ourselves enough compliments throughout right. the day. We don't need their compliments. No, nah, but what? But <laughs> but I knew that was crazy. Man. I don't be. It don't be blowing. It. it be blowing me though. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it blow we don't me. Need the compliments necessarily. That no, shouldn't be a make them. or break. They need them. They made a. They make a break them. So I'm, what I'm mm -hmm. asking, you need frivolous words. Yes, yeah, to, to get you through the night. Ball, we just ball. need to know that you like us. That's all. I'm because. Ooh, I took you on a date. Us, I took you on a date. That means us, I like you. We feel like we're wasting our time. Okay. I'm so not. the conversation was great. The right. date was amazing. Everything was great, but because I didn't, because the person didn't say, "Oh my God, you're the beautifulest thing I've ever seen." Right. Oh my God, you smell so good. What if you smell like sweat? That's what I'm what if, saying. What if your hair was mussy? <laughs> what if your hair was mussy? Or what if you had too much perfume on and it was killing me, choking me? What do you want me to say? You want me to give you a frivolous com com compliment to suffice you? So if but I say, you, you got to, you got to always find something. I am. Oh, and you know what? I'm taking with y'all saying. I'm there taking what y'all saying. I'm digesting it. So if I come back and say. God damn you! You can always find something positive. I, I am. I'm gonna say it right here. God damn, you got a beautiful big toe. What you gonna say? And this if that's all you can find on me is 
oh, beautiful. It's that big toe. Then I'm gonna make sure you see that goddamn big toe. That might be all you got that day. See what I'm saying? So basically, what you're saying is you want to come. You you don't you want a specific type of compliment. You don't just want to be complimented. No, we 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 want to be a we want to feel appreciated. What and getting couples, you might be off that but, day. But see, this is what I'm you saying. Might not this have is done anything for me that day. Like that a don't comment. mean that I don't like you. That don't mean right. that I don't. I'm not going to move forward with you. That just means right. that day it was not hitting for That's me. That's why Nothing. they still Nothing. single. But but yeah, a compliment. But single? here's the thing. We like compliments. We like things like that. But it shouldn't be the end all to be all. Like it shouldn't right. cut off an individual right. from, you know, possibly getting to the next day or possibly being that person because a compliment right, no. shouldn't make you. You got beautiful Period. foot ends. Hold on, hold on, hold Facts. on, hold on. I know. Hold, hold, I hold on, y'all. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. No, what's your answer? What's your answer? What could a girl do yeah. to not get a second date from you? Break my windows out. <laughs> Why is she breaking I your windows on the windows first date? <laughs> I don't know. It's nothing that really done. Like if I fuck right. with you, if I like you it's enough to date with you, if I like you enough to sit down and have dinner with you or have a conversation with you, it, it, you ain't really got to do nothing. It, you can't That's do nothing. I'm, I'm gonna like, give you. A, I'm gonna give you a second shot because you just might have had an off day. Yeah, like I understand. Like should, should be just. I'm. I'm so easy. Y'all women are you fucking cruel. Girl, yeah, I don't care. Y'all fucking cruel. If if, if wow. they got a nasty attitude in any way, what if I had a bad even day, Katie? Got a nasty look. Even if Shorty got a wow. nasty position with what herself, I had a bad day, she, could be, she could be on her red. I right. don't know. Shorty, let's say you got an attitude day. today. I, I, I this is your first day bad. with me. Oh. I don't know about your bad days. So it should not be projected against me. It so don't, you ever, project it don't that against be projected me, against that's, you. That's what I perceive you as all right, being. All right, y'all. Hold, all right, hold look, on. What, if she, what, what happened if she lost somebody? She lost a yeah. family member or she going through some her own. Well, issues. she's not going to be on a date. Jeez. Why? She can't be dating. <laughs> She's still fucking hungry. I mean, it's outlet for her. This might somebody. be an outlet to get you out of your out of that reality. Hey, hey, she's still hungry. <laughs> but I mean, if she just <laughs> lost somebody, she's, she's still probably hungry. not going to Maybe be on she date. needs that true. to yeah. get away from it. Yeah. Maybe she needs it. Maybe her getting out around of other things outside of that may get may get her back to her center. We always be putting shit on people that we put that we do to our own self. Mm -hmm. We on, miss out on real good shit. No, no, I still got more questions. Y'all get y'all getting fired up. <laughs> I still got more fired. questions. All right, here y'all y'all got to answer the question one or the other, man. If you had to go on a blind date or a double date, which one would you pick? Double, double date. date. That blind date shit. Double date. You want a double now? I want to give me what double with my girl and her and somebody else. Right, you can you can double me. Yeah, double. Who double. am I? Who am I blind dating though? My girl? No, you, you don't know, no, shorty. It's a blind date. No, shorty. Whoever <laughs> the shorty is. No, she might got um, bad teeth. <laughs> let me know. Let me know in the comments. Are y'all going on a blind date or double. a double date? Give me the double. Yo, I'm going on a blind date because I don't know what kind of drama y'all got right now on this double date. <laughs> y'all could be having drama right now, and I don't want to be a part of that. I don't, I don't want to go on a double date. I'll but but it. but what's to say that the individuals, the couple that you're double dating with is going to be problematic or right, drama filled? You don't know that. That's what I'm saying. You don't know right, that. And you don't know if you're going to pick a crazy person if you're going to sing, uh, right. a blind date. Right. But, it, but if it's just me by myself, I have more control over, you know, whatever goes on. Okay. So as far as a double date, what if they stick you with the check? <laughs> Damn. Stuck. I was paying. I'm paying. I'm taking a blind date, man. Yeah, I, I don't do blind dates. Blind date is exciting. Y'all are boring. That's why. I don't do blind <laughs> dates. Are you no, I, I, I have to, like, for me, the blind dates is kind of like, mm, because I feel like I need to know just a little bit about you because yeah. a blind date could be wasting my time. Like, I exactly. could, you could say a fucking sentence or two sentences, and I'm going to know automatically that I'm not even trying to be bothered with you. So, a blind date for me is that, just that's oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Each. Hey, it's not a blind date that you never ever talk to this nigga. You just don't know him and you might never have seen him before, but y'all had a conversation. 
I, now, I would, oh, I would, okay. I See, I didn't think date. of it that way, right? As somebody that you really didn't know, but you're kind of set up in that situation, and then you're just going to go out and meet them for the first time and kind of not have talked to them that much. But All right, what you saying, Katie? Because I got more questions. Go ahead. I, I would go on a blind date only if Ebony set me up with one. I can't. Only so you because I know me? she would know exactly. You don't trust me, Katie? She would know exactly what you don't trust me? That's safe. We, you fuck can't up. be safe. That's fucked up. Say Katie. what now? That's fucked not, up, Katie. The blind date ain't supposed to be. It ain't supposed to right. be. I mean, well, I mean, I, so I go on a blind date. If Ebony set me up with one, that's not a go one. That's not exciting, boring lady. That is exciting. <laughs> I won't know the person. Listen, mm. the, ne the next question is this is a traumatic experience for me as well. <laughs> Dating somebody with pets. Would you date somebody with pets? Like dog, cats, and shit. Pets. Because yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all <laughs> that yeah. I had on my crispy clean white polo shirt and this big ass <laughs> Rockweiler jumped on my shirt and it was ruined and it tra it traumatized me forever in a day. I hate girls with pets. <laughs> I'm a pet girl, so yeah. yes, I would date someone with a pet simply yeah. because yeah. I am a pet girl. girl. I, don't, I don't have any pets right now. But I'm a pet lover, like so. I would definitely date somebody with pets. I can't. Yeah. No, what's your answer? I don't know. I guess a lot of the dates that we be going is going to be at my house because I know I can control the environment. Because <laughs> I, I don't like a bunch of hair all on my clothes. That's what I'm saying, man. Get that shit the fuck away from me. Get that shit off my J's. All of that. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> So it, but it's you know be, there is a way to control I, I, like I, I, hair I, I, and all of uh, that stuff. It's, it's no gonna control. be a lot of out of her house like dates and chills because you know what I mean it's cool. I can't knock I can't knock what you got going on if I fuck. All right. But so let me ask y'all a question. Go ahead, she's a perfect woman. She's beautiful, she's smart, she's intelligent, y'all vibe well and all of that stuff. Like y'all might have even fucked and she got great pussy. Right. But she got a Pitbull, she got a dog. Like, are y'all exiting her because of that? Because you don't yeah. like the shit. Each, like, each, each. look, each. Bye, shorty. Yeah. No, no, bye, shorty. And see, that's a valid. Point. But what if you've gotten past a certain point, like three months, four months, y'all yeah, yeah. vibing well, that. and you say, "I don't like pets," and she I gives it up for that. you? Like, why would you? I call, I, see each. I call see, cat to this, the this the way right here with the pets. you can find your you you this is one of the ways you can find your um your soulmate so to speak because if you're both pet lovers then that's something that you have in common right if you're not a pet lover and that person is then maybe you shouldn't be that mean, that's me, you that know mean, that mean you got a soulmate <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, because one person could be, be the... could live without a pet. He a killer, but he loves pets. <laughs> but a pet lover is usually a pet lover. lover. So right. they're not letting their pet go for anyone. All right. So Ooh, for the right. people that are gonna kill, comment, he might man, kill you with though, the Katie. Pets. He might kill you though, Katie. He might. Y'all love pets. <laughs> I, yo, this is where I call cat. This is where the cat stops. Everybody that's in the comments saying it don't matter if they got a pet or not. If I got a fucking bull constrictor snake, I guarantee you not coming in this motherfucker. House. No, most I guarantee you. Now that guarantee comment, you not dating. I'm through with them. If they got no, a snake, Katie, you will be okay. It'll be in the cage. It the won't bother nose. you. No. For all the people that's out there saying no, it doesn't matter. It does matter to y'all because if we owned a snake and I had a big ass snake. In, the, in this motherfucker, you well, would be like, that oh, depends on what no way, sir. Snake. You're right, Neil. No way, You're sir, right. sir. Because if they got a snake, I ain't fucking with them. They Satan. All right, all right. I got more questions. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta stay on, on, on the uh, fucking. Because if you come to my house, you gotta <laughs> kiss my snake. Yeah, I kiss my snake. <laughs> kiss the snake. All kiss right, listen, snake. ladies. I also heard this earlier on the radio. Can you date a man who looks better than you and takes longer than you to get dressed? <laughs> oh, shit. Katie? Yeah, nope. I can. 
I can. I can. It would be annoying as fuck, but I can. Right. I could. Let me know in the comments as well. Can you date somebody, ladies? Can you date somebody that looks better than you and takes longer than you to get dressed? What's your answer, KD? It's uh, it don't exist in the world. What the fuck? <laughs> I cannot. Sorry, you can the question. It's, on, it's <laughs> not one that's gonna look better than me, yeah. and it's definitely not one that's gonna take longer than me. It don't exist. Who's a pretty nigga? Each name a pretty nigga, <laughs> so I can, so we can call it Katie right exist. out on her shit. <laughs> it don't exist. What a pretty it's nigga. Drink drink. This right here, it don't drink. exist. He had, uh, yeah, drink. You think, a you, think you look better than Drake? Oh hell yeah. No, hands down. No, I'm moving on. No, can you date an ugly chick who has a good personality? She's I don't mean ugly, like you know, she's just a little off. I mean butt ass ugly. <laughs> nah, bro. It gotta be something that attracts me. Cause again, I don't know her personality when I'm walking right. past her or I see her, right. whatever. If I see her and I like something about it, then yes. Thanks. But I can't, I don't know her personality after, I, I can't get past the look if I don't know, if I can't get to the personality if I can't get past the look. Thanks. Mm. All right. I'm glad you said that. I want to stay right there. Two more questions. My shorty a dime anyway, so that's what I'm going to say. It's two, it's two more questions. Hey, now. The first, the first question is, what do you think makes you stand out if you're standing in a crowd? So the person... That's looking, you know, for somebody. What makes you stand out? So if somebody looking for me, looking at me, and saying, and I'm looking for you, they're just looking. It's a it's a group of guys standing on the corner. What makes you stand out? My 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 ankles, my ankle, like <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Your fucking ankles, though. Now stop this fucking. Not shit. the ankles. The fact, the fact stop that I, shit. I, I, on, I ain't got my ankles is out. Yeah, that's what I think. That's my greatest quality. I don't, I don't know. not I, think in the history of woman dumb is right. ankles a fucking you know attraction, a, a thing of attraction. <laughs> <laughs> Lady. <laughs> Are y'all hollering at those ankles? Ladies in the chat, are y'all hollering at those ankles? You're killing me. You're killing me now. You're fucking killing me. Right, bro. Bro, (laughs) my eyes. You ain't. You ain't want to holler. All right, Katie said her eyes. What you got, Ish? My bubbly personality. My personality. You can't see that from across the room, Ish. Yes, he can. No, he because can't. he can look at me and see me move my movement, no, my he. body move. Come on, you can't, Come you can't on. see that from across the room. My eyes, then my eyes. All right, both of y'all saying eyes, man. Um, I hope, I, hope for me, I'm a, I'm a. Hopefully for me, is my smile. Right. I hope, I hope my smile is 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 radiant enough to where it catches somebody's attention. I'm gonna say like like Marilyn said, it's definitely gonna be my swag gonna stand out. Man. <clears throat> My swag definitely gonna stand out above all the rest of these niggas because they don't know what the fuck they doing. All right. In reverse, what is the thing that you look for to stand out? Ass and tits. <laughs> what is that? What What is that one thing that's gonna grab you from across the room, uh, KD and Ish? L E G. I'm sorry, yeah. but for me, it's the personality. You cannot see that from across you the can't room. See the That's what I said, well, but if they saying you can't, you can't. Yes, you can. Okay. No, you can't. can't see that. You can I feel see like that you can. Listen Body to me. movement. Listen to me. Yes, he's you can. He's not moving. Listen, Katie and Ish, he's not moving. It's a group of guys. They're all standing still and they're just talking. And and listen, from afar, okay, well, it's from the across swag, the room. Man. You can it's, see it's just it. The way they carry he is moving. He's when just not a mannequin. Ish, ish. The the swaggiest nigga could be standing there quiet. Yeah. So you're yeah, not seeing. He gonna have some subtle movements. He gonna no, have some subtle movements that you can see. He's just standing there quiet. So what is okay. it gonna be that catches your eye? His smile. All right. Yeah, his smile for me. What's your answer, KJ? <laughs> Everybody, see um, grace his the hand. eyes. It's something I, I read the eyes. Oh my god, the fucking eyes. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I, I, I reach. It's twenty thousand feet away. You can't see them. Yes. <laughs> but I can see how their position is the eyes. Yeah, might be crystal Which y'all can't see cold. across the room. This I is what I'm confused about. I can about. see across the room, but I'm not looking at the room. I can't see across the room. I want to know physique. I can see across the room, but I'm not looking at the personality across the room. I'm looking at that old so, so or those tits or your beautiful face. By the physique. And all the women are saying bulge. It's the boobs. Everybody's saying bulge. You got to have a pop gray sweatpants. It's the boobs. It's what? It's the booty. Got to have a pop Here you go with this booty shit. Here you go with this booty shit. <laughs> that is that, but listen, for women, that is, I mean, it's not that much a smile, eyes, arms, booty. All right, come on. We got it's we not got more ankles. Questions. We got, no, we got more ankles. questions to get through. Oh. All yeah. right. The last two are doozies, man. This is dating in 2023. How long do y'all think it's taking people to smash? The date, an hour. Yeah, they're doing it right away now. The date is an I hour. Mean, our home is twenty minutes. Yeah, take three to take the clothes off. I'll say two hours. Two That's hours. how people doing it nowadays. They putting up, they putting the um carpet for the horse. And then they they're get, not dating they now. They get mad they're when the substance that comes afterwards. That, that is dating. That's dating in 2023, Katie. That's dating in 23. <laughs> it's no dating now. It's it is smashed. dating. We went on a date and then we smashed. And then they, no <laughs> dating. It's only smashing. Katie, mm -hmm. if we go on a date, we are dating. We went on a date and then I, we smashed. So it's just the pre-smash show. That's all that is. So that's not a date? No, it's not a date. So when we was at the People movie, that, that wasn't now. a date? The dating to me is a part of courting. When when you date someone, you want to win them over and show them right. how you can be but the perfect person for them. Katie, Katie, you don't give a fuck about that now. How they doing in twenty twenty three? Right. It's all about exactly. You they buy some a dinner. Now. It's only smash. I can't. Yeah, like you buying. Katie you really it. paying? A, you paying to take the panties off? Katie, Katie hating. I'm not hating. I'm telling the truth. Katie People hating, do not yeah. date now. They're we only date. is they're only in it for the smashing. Listen. Well, I think. Hold, hold on, East KD. What I'm saying is, if I was only in it for the smash, I could just call you and tell you to come to my crib. I don't got to take you out on a date. So if yeah, I'm but you you're just I'm gonna you. do the little routine of. Going That's what I'm out. saying, Katie. You don't have to do that. You can just call somebody and say, "Come through and smash." You don't got to. You don't got to go out. But Katie, well, whose fault? Well, hell, it? I'm new to the damn 2023, so tell school me. Whose fault would it be if 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 right. you, if y'all smashes both parties wanted to do it? Right. Exactly, and mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Now people have gotten more to that to where now smashing is no thing. They just smash. But you know what? Like, we know what it is. Thing no more because it's even if you, even if you don't smash, right? You got people that's falling in love with just basic. Normal text conversations, not even hearing your voice over the phone. People falling in love within three weeks, right? And then they wonder why the relationship don't last past two months because it ain't no substance there. You didn't build anything. You fucked. You said I love. Well, you. I was about to say I don't fall in love anymore. All right, so so let's stay right there on this final question in this topic. What do you hate the most? Or what has changed the most from dating in your early years to now? What has changed the most? Or what do you hate the most from your early years to now? Oh, wow. Damn. Now, you know you make me dead back to damn dinosaurs years. <laughs> Shit. Well, what what I hate I don't think I hate nothing. I mean, for me, I don't think I hate anything right now. I actually be, think I like the way. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think we, I guess I hate that it's not the traditional courtship. What is traditional courtship? Where they, you know, want to come to your home so they can make sure that th your parents see them. What the fuck? <laughs> is this 1965? Did I say it's the dinosaurs? 
they're not. This is not 1965, Katie. First of all, first of all, I'm not just saying. Katie, 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 first of all, who are you dating that lives with their parents? <laughs> like, what the well, fuck? Well, no, not parents, but you do still have family members. Who do, why do you live with your family members? Are you a well, not live with them, but you want then, your then family we're going to on a date. Up. Then if we're going on a date, why am I coming to meet your family? This is our first date. Why? That's like meeting your kids. Why am I meeting your family on the first date? Tradition. No, that's not tradition. That's fucking crazy. Family on the first, first date. date? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Uh, if I, mean, I come to your and crib, and that's that's where I'm at. T KD. went went back when I dated. That's, that's what I'm where saying, I was. KD. This is not yeah. those times. Yeah. <laughs> if I come to back your crib when I dated, your that's whole where family I went. is there. That is a red flag for me. Why is your whole family there when I pick you up for the date? <laughs> yeah, he did say that before. Meeting be right the family on the first date. If you don't get the fuck out of here, fucking crazy, man. What's your answer, though? <laughs> um, it's the lack of accountability on both parts. You know what I mean? Just people always want to feel like they're being screwed over. And instead of just, you know what I mean, really digging deep into finding out which, who you got and what you're dealing with. You know what I mean? Every every issue ain't meant to break you. It's meant to make you better. And I just hate that. I just hate that this microwave type of world that we live in, everybody pops something in the microwave and think they're going to get a, a meal that's supposed to be n nourishing to their body. It's, it takes time. You got to prep that meal. You got to prepare with love. And then you, then you, when you consume it, it's giving you basically what you need and what you've been asking for. So I just think we got we. That's what I hate the most. It's just this, this, this society of instantaneous shit. Right. And I'm gonna I'm say consistency like Marilyn, but I want to ask <laughs> one more question. So, ladies, do y'all agree with what Lady B is saying? Do y'all feel like men were more honest back in the day? Fuck no. That's what what I'm saying. No. <laughs> no, I don't no. think they were more honest, but I feel like it came out a lot easier back in the day like they didn't have to say anything like their actions showed it and you were able to pick up at that point in time like now i feel like it's a lot of shucking and jiving that goes i think on. it's a lot of shucking and jiving then and now it's just it's, right. it's just in our right moment. it's just a way that is presented women are much more agree. independent now than they ever have been they don't have to rely on a man they don't they can they rely on themselves so when back then you had these women that needed to rely on the, on the husband to go out and get work and, and come home and just do whatever. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing changed from then to now. It's, you know what we got? Social media is what it got. Right. It puts right. everything out there for everybody to consume and right. see. Facts. Mm -hmm. You dig? That's all it is. Yeah. Your grandpops and great grandpops is out there fucking her with. So was your grandmothers. Facts. <laughs> Facts. You dig? It's just that shit. they didn't have ways to get, communicate that shit. <laughs> Instantaneous. There ain't nobody was your, your your best friend wasn't snapping pictures while she was at the restaurant, and your and your best friend was there too. Like it was just different. You had to make a phone call when you got home. All right. By that I'm, time, I'm, they had a story together. She had I'm, a story I'm, together. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick and tell y'all what dating in 2023 is. Dating in 2023 is you meet somebody, is. you might have a conversation or two. And you might even go to like a get a little drink or whatever, but y'all fucking within a week, so it's not taking longer than oh, a week. Yeah, no, KD, back up because we know that you got you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking in, in the real world where people are outside, it's not <laughs> taking no longer than a week these days. And that's what that's what's going on outside. I don't know what you're saying, but in the real world outside, it's not taking longer than a week. See, but you forgot one aspect to it. After a little, get something to eat, little drink, little right. conversation, you fuck. Mm. Then a couple hours later, they tell you we're in love. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You're falling in love, and and, and that's when the shit. Get crazy because y'all put y'all did everything else except fall in love. Hold on, hold on now, because I want to wrap this up and let these women know. So when you see a man putting in any effort for you, I'm gonna need y'all to show a little bit more appreciation because the way the world is outside in these current times, he don't gotta do that. 
It's real, easy. it's real easy access for a man to get pussy these days without jumping through these hoops that you want a man to jump through to show you that he likes you. So if he does that, I'm going to say show him a little bit more appreciation because he don't have to. Mm -hmm. Oh, my but God. Ladies, I'm going to say this. Just because one man is not willing to jump through those hoops, you got another one that is. Never said, never said that, Katie. Yeah, I didn't think he said that. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. Very good. And I, and and, 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 and right, right, right. we got, he can, not, he gonna he, flip. Katie, he made yeah, a very good point. Really. And let's not dilute. Oh, let's said, not Katie. dilute that point by saying right. that because what he's saying is, if you got a man that's willing, mm. that's a rare find nowadays. Right. Mm -hmm. Willing to do, give you himself, and willing to support. And be there for you, however that looks for you. Right, right. the rare find. Mm -hmm. Don't just mm -hmm. take that as True. he's supposed to do it. Understand that that's what he wants to do because right. he's into you. Right, and, that is true. And, and now what that and is, that was my point, KD. Yes. <laughs> and now what you should right. be that going off true. of that is now nurturing and feeding that by by being receptive and appreciative. We ain't asking to jump through hoops, but right. show your appreciation by. Right. Extending that love, right? Extending that understanding mm -hmm. and that care, taking right. the load off of him a little bit, planning a date here and there, planning mm -hmm. an outing, doing certain shit, sucking mm -hmm. his dick when he walked through the door. If, if that's what he wanted. But you know, me and Ebony was having this talk last night. Yeah, me and him since hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, KD. Before you even get into the me and Ebony, is Ebony still in the chat? What the fuck is going on? Itch? I'm sorry. Is I'm Ebony still in my wine glass? I Let need for see Ebony she's still in the chat. I need for Ebony to bring her ass since she don't want to come on the show. I need Ebony to bring her ass to the Thursday night meeting because she has a lot to say over there. And I want ah! to so bring your ass to the Thursday night meeting, Ebony. Go ahead, Katie. You can finish saying whatever you were saying. But we were just saying last night where. Well, no, earlier today, how today men tend to look for women to like be what we are looking for, like be the What's one to that? provide for What's them. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Don't do that. Don't that's the fuck? but but wait, but oh. wait. If we look that's at cool. a lot of the women, they What's a lot of the women. Kidding? Like they don't mind right. providing for their man. They and that's, that's exactly being... what we. That's right. exactly what Ebony and I said. What? That women have okay, spoiled they. men to the point. So we want to spoil y'all. Well, you know what? And this is these were my words to Ebony. Where well, I will live by T's words. I will die a lonely single old lady. Before so let I me ask you something. So let me ask this. Like, if a man doesn't do X, Y, and Z for us, are we not, are, are we saying that we're not supposed to do anything for them until Ooh. they show something? I wouldn't say that, but, mm -hmm. um, and this is me. I can't speak for all women. Right. No, to no. Me, I imagine a, a, a man interest in me by what he do for and with me. I really <laughs> do. Now, I am the type, and Ebony can tell you, I am the type. Once I know that you're into me, I will spoil you no ends. I will spoil you to no ends, but I have to know that we are right here. I have okay. to know. That. Okay, okay, Katie. So that that is your standard. So what is wrong with a man wanting that, or what is it's, wrong with women doing that? There's nothing wrong with them doing that. You know, if it's reciprocated. Why do it's Why do it gotta be reciprocated? It. But that's what I was getting ready to say. Do we love only on the right. basis of reciprocation only? Right. What I guess in that respect. <laughs> I do. You're, you're fucking I, I, I would have to say because to me to me K and K I can only speak for myself K if it's in, only in, me K giving K in a relationship and you're not giving then you don't really want me you only want what I can give you that's not always true and it may not be but that's just the way I see it 
Right. So you're, you're seeing in 1960 uh, glasses. It's not 1960. Well, Update 19, your glasses. I hate glasses. Put a new prescription. <laughs> Well, I too, I too feel like this. I too feel like in that state of mind or that mind frame, it's just like the the men back in, right. you know, back in time where you know they were, you right. know, boiling over with love and affection for women that just didn't give a fuck and just like you know what I mean. And so, but they still did it. Like, you know what I mean? They yeah. still wanted to win and they still wanted to court this woman. So I feel like, you know, what, what, how bad is it if a woman shows that to a man with the possibility of it not being reciprocated? Like, does that mean that, you know, if, you know, we like someone that we just don't show them that until they right. reciprocate it to us? Like right. I get confused by that sometimes because then and it's I like, guess well, how am I supposed to maintain my feelings? Will probably for this go by our beliefs and what we have been raised, you know, hey, just, hey, KD. generationally. Hey, KD. I that would go by generation. Hey, KD. I don't right. care what uh, generation you're in. If you're like somebody, show them that you like them, whether you whether they're doing it first or not. If you like somebody, it's okay to show them that you like them. Point mm -hmm. blank period. <laughs> right. can, can I ask you a question? Because can I can we go back to something that was said earlier? You said John Ebony was having a conversation where men nowadays want to be spoiled. Spoiled how? No, I do want to be spoiled. It's I, no, no, no. I'm, I know. I'm asking. I'm asking. <laughs> I want to know the definition. Of what, I want to know what the definition of spoiled means, though. And. And and what part of spoiling? Would well, be we were just speaking on nowadays. Men look for women who can take care of them. No, I don't need you. To take I mean, care that's exactly what they're spoiling. looking for. That's nope. if a woman can't take care that, that, of them. That, that, that's not. That's not. Even yeah, that's not true. even. That's not even a fair assessment to say. And you have you have many clues and cues to go off of of the men that are in and around you that take care of themselves and looks for nothing but to be of a compliment. I don't even want to call myself. I don't even want to put myself in the category of saying I'm doing something for somebody and I'm and I'm giving them more than whatever. I am a compliment to somebody. Right. I compliment and you them. Too I don't. Are. So yes, when you, you are. say I'm, that, I'm not taking when that you from say that either. men are looking for women to financially take care of them. I, I have I'm not saying that about you too. But, but I'm saying in that general, I know, of I know of more men that are taking care. That's what I was about to say. That's not even all their numbers wise possible. That's not even numbers wise possible. Taken care of. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've seen in the dating world today that I've seen. That's what men are looking for. It's like when when they go out on date, it's like they're looking for the woman to open their pocketbook, I just like they open it. their wallet. Yeah, it's like not. Every, it's not all of them. Dutch. You know, yeah. back in my day, back in the Flintstone days, it was no question the man paid for it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is not 1960. Update exactly. I ain't even going. I ain't even going. Tip with you. I, 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 every everything that involves Darnell Street brothers, I handle. And if 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 my if I go out, and my lady wants want to pay for a date, then she wants to pay for a date. And I, yeah. and, and, hey, I'm not saying. I'm not making her pay for everything, but if she want to pay for a date, then that's on her. But she already know I'm gonna take care of her in many other ways. Okay. I think too what we what we miss here is that there are some women who are grubbers. Right. Yeah, pure, unadulterated. No, that, is true. that is true. Grubbers. Oh. So a man sometimes wants to feel special. He wants to feel like you are in it. He wants to feel like. Hey, listen, she's about me too. And then that will in turn allow him the comfortable space, the safe space to then reciprocate that. I feel like sometimes there are women who are just, and we see these videos over and over and over again, where there are women who are just wanting to pull and take and pull and take and pull and right. take. And a man should this and a man should that and a man should pay for my kids meal while we out a steak dinner for my six year old. You know, it's a lot that men have to deal with that in turn, they sometimes want to feel that we are about them too. And that we are not, you know what, you know what, you know what, 
you know what thought keeps popping up in my mind? Why are you in grown ups business? <laughs> and, I, and I say that to say, if you can't even be grown to your fucking self, how you gonna be? How you gonna tell another grown up what to do? You speaking mm -hmm. on something that you ain't even doing for yourself. If your man taking care of you, or or, or, or you looking to be taken care of, how can you even speak on something about what somebody else doing or not doing? That's what's wrong with dating in 2023. Looks like everybody has an opinion about something and they don't even live that lifestyle themselves. Right. You worried about what this person and that person doing and you ain't even doing that shit for yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Until And then when you're not concerned about shit, it doesn't even affect you. You know what? I'm not sitting up here saying I'm not dealing with this and that. I don't put myself in them type of situations to say what I'm. This ain't for me because I ain't putting myself there. Right. And if we a partnership, we a partnership. Like right. when do when when that's what we got away from. That's what the fuck I hate about dating is this part like this partnership shit. Like we are a partnership. Even if I'm taking care of you financially and all the all the leads, right? What's the leads? Financially, spiritually, mentally, sexually, and all that. If 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 my if my spoil might look like peace, spoil me with peace. Facts. Mm -hmm. Spoil me with spoil me with a shrimp a, a shrimp dinner. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I like everything ain't always mean you gotta take care of me, but spoil me with the things that I like yeah. to do. Right. Right. I do agree mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. I do agree with that. Because you can't, like, if you, it's like this. You go you go to the supermarket on Sunday, right? If you fill your refrigerator out once a month, and you go open it, and you put something out every time, and you never go back to fill it up, you don't have nothing to take from. No. You're, you're you got to keep replenishing the supply. No. No, you're, 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 that means you're, 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 your no. man with something other oh, than... No, no. no you're, 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 missing, you're, you're missing Katie and Ebony's um, whatever that thought was. Listen, that thought was basically instead of men being like going to work and then coming home and handing her his check and then she no, might give him no, some. No. Let me finish, Katie. And then she might give him some when she feel like it. Now that a man wants to feel loved too, now they look at that as he's being needy because he wants to yeah. feel loved as well. <laughs> That's what that is. That That's is not where Ebony and I were saying. No not man, Katie, all. no man wants you to take care of him. Right. No okay. real man. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. No man. Yes. No man. Right. If somebody want to be taken care of, they That's the answer right there. <laughs> I don't, right. want nobody to take care. I don't need nobody to take care of me. I, I, I go to work every day. I want somebody to fulfill needs that I got. That makes me needy. That makes me, that makes me, you know, whatever. No, and, and I wasn't saying that you guys were like this. We've just you seen guys man. that yeah. are looking for, that's what they're looking for. Women to pay the full ride of everything. So is that not the way of the world though? Right. Look at the world. Is women more noms out of 10? And we can have women in the comments that's going to beat the shit out of this comment. We're going to have women that's going to tear this comment down. Mm -hmm. But ain't there more women out there that's looking to be taken care of than, than, than right. even taking care of them own self? Probably you said it, you said it yourself, yeah. Katie. Probably. You want to be kept. Probably. You said it yourself. You'd rather so be kept than do anything else. that's a traditional way. But let's Who be clear. Katie that? don't need to be kept by no one said no 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 KD, we, KD, 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 KD. no one said that let's be clear about wait a minute KD, KD. now no one now, said that you needed now. to be kept Definitely you said it yourself that you prefer to, to be kept give me gifts i'm not going to turn them down KD, my question is, whose tradition are you speaking That's of? That's whose tradition is that? Where is that? Where that book at? Show no me one where that book it. is. No one said, where no one is. is in that comment to tear you down, <laughs> but we're just saying, if we want to say we want to be kept, then how is that any different from saying, I want somebody to take care of me? No one said that you had to, that we, you're looking for somebody to take care of you, mm -hmm. but you said you'd much rather be kept, right? So you prefer somebody to take care of you. That's if we were given those choices. Yes. That's not what I so if you were given that choice, if you were if given I that choice that for life, I wouldn't be working every day. So because so, I've I've had the offers to be kept. Trust me. I've had the offers to be kept. So. And I choose not to be kept because I know what comes behind 
being kept. The only way I would even allow a man to give me money is if I have interest in them. Okay. Because I know what comes behind. So is that not the same thing? That's the same thing as that man that y'all discussing that wants right. to be taken care of. He, he can be wanted taken care of, but if you're not doing it, he still got to do it himself. Right. It's the same thing. Yes. So you can want to be taken care of, but if that person ain't, you still got to take care of yourself. That's what we're getting right. to. A person can want mm -hmm. whatever the fuck they want, but if you're mm -hmm. not getting it, then you still got to take care of yourself. So right. we're looking at the wrong shit. It don't matter mm -hmm. if a nigga want to be taken care of nowadays. That ain't the right nigga for you then. Right. Exactly. So that, that nigga part. doesn't exist in your world. That part. So that it nigga is. doesn't exist in your world. KD, KD, I don't frown upon the women that want to be taken care of. I don't frown upon them. Me either. And I don't say it's because of tradition, it's because of whatever. <laughs> it's it's because that's who she is. So if a nigga wants to be taken care of, you can't frown upon him. No, you, I don't frown upon him. You just don't choose him. Mm -hmm. You just don't you choose him. You just call the nigga needy. So all women is needy then. So say all women are fucking needy then. I won't say that. No, not no. all women. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're not can, needy. So you just said no, you but I, I feel like... But so you yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. But you yeah, we're no not needy. needy. We just like to feel appreciated. So, and so do love. men, KD, and so do men. So don't call men needy. This is what I'm trying to say. Watch your verbiage. So you you want to call men needy, but when it's flipped to y'all, is we want to feel loved. See what no, you but it's just that usually you just a man don't you know it, back in the day. This back is not in back the in the day. Olden days. It wasn't expected for the female to pay right. for things for the male. It's not expected in this goddamn household <laughs> for a female to pay for any damn thing. But I feel like, right. But I feel like just as time has progressed on, a man just wants to feel right. equally appreciated. Appreciated. Absolutely. So don't call and, him. So don't call yeah. him as he should though. As he should though. <laughs> but I will say some women have become sugar mamas, and, and what's wrong that's with what that? They look for sugar mamas. What's wrong with that? If that's what right. they want, if that's what she choose to be, if that's, that's what they choose to be. Right. That's on them. Right. right. So if she so what what like if some women that they want just to make be it hard on space. me. They're not making it hard on you. That's just not the person for you. You throwing yeah. shade, and that is so true, T. That is so true. Let's move, over here. <laughs> let's move let, let's move on, man. <laughs> Are y'all ready for ideology, people? No, I want to be, yeah, man, I can't move past that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Are y'all ready for ideology, man? Let's go. I'm about right, to call I'm my mama. Mama, I'm quitting my job tomorrow. <laughs> Fast. I'm, 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 I'm quit mine tomorrow too. I'm going to um. Sheesh. 